if we have a smart um, building control system for an entire development, uh, which offer, offers you know, an a integrated uh, communal heating system and cooling system, for instance, uh, as well as um, a lighting system, uh, then you know, certainly in terms of the amount of usage uh, of power and control you have over that usage is, is much greater and much more transparent. I suppose smart home technology can mean a, a number of different things to a number of different people. Um, the core principle really that is that smart home technology is control of a building, so lighting, heating, cooling, curtains, blinds, um, energy efficiency. KNX technology is uh, an open protocol as we refer to it in the industry. It's just a common language that all the devices talk. So KNX is a, a, an association of near 400 manufacturers all producing technology that talk the KNX language. My main tip really would be to provision so that someone can add the levels of sophistication that they, they want to add, um, allow enough space for things like server stacks, leave enough space for the amount of kit that actually needs to go in with these things, which is, it is considerable if you want something very, very sophisticated. I think from an architect's point of view, it's, uh, it's important to engage, engage early on in the project with a, with a specialist. So if you can work with someone who you trust and who you share a vision with, with and who you believe shares your vision for the project, they can bring so much to the project, whether it's aesthetics or technology. I suppose my top tip for getting the most out of KX smart home technology would be keep it simple. In terms of the stage we think about using this technology, it's, it's definitely day one, it's, um, it's project brief, it's, um, it's inception stage, um, it's, it's very early on. Um, and in terms of its integration, then, then that is um, a holistic approach on, on uh, or during the design phase. Future proofing is something that we also consider a lot throughout the design process. Because the technology moves on so quickly, what we often do is actually provision for a retrofit of systems. So an end user will be able to come in and choose their level of specification because some people want something quite straightforward and simple, whereas others want a far more sophisticated and intelligent system. The open protocol allows full forwards and backwards compatibility. So in 10, 15 years time, if someone was to move into this apartment and they say, okay, we don't like the switches, they can change the switches for a, a KNX switch at the time, they're guaranteed to work on the system. Originally, there was a collection of systems which were integrated into our product, um, which didn't traditionally communicate to each other. With um, KNX and the single platform technology, that integrated that uh, all those variety of systems gave us one simple interface that you know our purchasers could um, work with but then also I think the flexibility uh, of that technology both moving forward for any specific user um, requirements has really been an advantage uh, in this marketplace the demand for uh, properties in these markets has increased and with that there's been an increase in expectation of what that sort of product should look like and how that product should function. When you look at a development, whether it or not you go for a technological system or not, there won't be many other elements of the project where the end user is going to have so much day-to-day -day experience. Using KNX has been um, an incredibly straightforward process for us, which is very key. Um, we design a lot in this kind of end of the market and the end users absolutely 100% expect to have this kind of product in the apartments that they're looking at.